guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing something completely different that I am extremely excited about. Um, we are outside in nature today and I am super excited. It is very nice weather here in Massachusetts today, which as you know, we haven't been getting the rest the best weather ever. So I'm super, super excited that it's very nice out. And today I wanted to make a video on 10 tips that you can do every day that will make you feel empowered, will make you feel happy, will make you feel more comfortable being you. Um, it's 10 steps that I've been taking daily to really bring myself back to that calm, peaceful place whenever I'm feeling worried or stressed out. So these are some self-care steps that I have found really help me out. And the first step is, happiness is a choice I make. This is something that you must repeat to yourself on a daily basis, that no one else can make you happy, no other place can make you happy, and nothing can make you happy. The only thing that can truly make you happy is yourself. And it is a state of mind. It is a choice that you make, whether you want to believe it or not. Um, once I read this sentence, I felt very powerful. Um, I think I didn't realize before that happiness truly was a choice and it's your choice whether to look on the positive side of things or the negative side of things. Um, everything that happens to you does not happen to you, it happens for you. And you need to realize that and choose to be happy in negative situations. So you can be in a horrible, horrible situation at work, at school, um, in life in general, um, but you can choose to find the happiness in that by being positive. And I think that sentence is extremely positive. So happiness is a choice that you make. Step number two. I choose to reinterpret my fears with a more loving perspective. So what I did was I made a list of t my 10 top fears um, and I chose to, instead of looking at the negative aspects of them or thinking about them in general, I chose to look at them in a different way. So I chose to change my perspective of my fears. So what I did, let me find what I did. I made a list of my top 10 biggest fears. And uh, one of my fears I'll share with you is getting a divorce in the future. Now, the thing that is completely and totally wrong about that fear is that that is a fear that's based in the future. It is not an actual fear. It is thoughts of the future, bad thoughts of the future. And that's exactly what fear is. It's usually fear is thinking about future or past experiences and not thinking about the present experiences. So I have always been fearful of getting a divorce. I've always wanted to be married to one person and have just a great family my whole life. Um, divorce is not something that I ever want. Um, so you really have to choose to focus on what you do want instead of your fears. And you need to look your fears right in the eye in order to stop being fearful of them. So um, I decided that the reason why I am so fearful of that is because I see it in modern movies all the time now um, and also on the internet in real life everyone seems to be getting a divorce in my generation um, and it is just like parents of my generation have been getting divorces and it's just something that I never want to go through myself I want to find that one person that will last with me my entire lifetime and Instead of being fearful of a divorce, focus on the excitement of being with the one that you love for the rest of your life. Focus on what you do want to see in the future instead of your fear. And that will change everything. Once you look your fear in the eye, everything will change. 
So look at your top 10, 10 fears, list them on paper or on your phone, and then look at the cause of why you're so fearful of that. Write that down, and then write down whether that's based on a past experience or a future experience. And fear of divorce is a future experience. And it's not, it's not happening right now. It's not a real fear. So just think about that. Um, the next time you find that you're fearful of something happening to you. The third tip I have is if I want to feel supported, I must support myself. And that is a huge one that really stuck out to me. Um, no one can support you like you can support yourself. And asking for help is the best way to support yourself. So going to therapy is going to help you and you find that um, maybe you need a little bit of guidance on where to go from there, um, really how to look at a better perspective, just how to better your life, um, I highly, highly suggest going to therapy. Having someone that you can talk to that you don't know, someone that knows nothing about you, um, is non-judgmental and has, you know, has good tips and tricks and has studied um, psychology and, and really like how to how to talk with people in a non-judgmental way. It is amazing to go to therapy and get everything out that you wouldn't feel comfortable talking to. Um, talking about these things with other people around you because maybe it's just too personal or it's about them or maybe, you know, you don't want to be a burden to the people around you um, and you'd rather be a burden to someone you didn't know, that type of thing. Um, just getting out things that you didn't realize you actually needed to get out and would help you, it's, it's a huge relief. And I have found therapy to be extremely helpful for me. Um, just talking, just talking and saying the things on your mind, whether it seems that important in your everyday life or not, um, just talking to someone and knowing that you have like someone that you can just talk to about anything once a week, it's great. It's great. Um, and you can talk about happy things, sad things, times when you've been irritated, how you've been feeling in certain situations, and you will find that they will give you amazing tips. And you need to realize that that is a huge step for yourself to put yourself in that vulnerable state and do that for yourself. Asking for help is the best form of showing support for yourself. Um, and you will feel so empowered, you will feel so proud of yourself. All the feelings that you get after going to therapy or yoga or meditations or Reiki classes, anything like that, exercising, you feel so good after that because you're doing it for yourself, you're supporting yourself. So do something today that makes you feel proud of yourself, that makes you feel empowered. Um, you will not regret it, I promise. Be your own support system. And then number four is peace is in your pulse. So this is a fun one. This is a little meditation that you can do anywhere. And basically you meditate the phrase sat up and you do this um, while feeling the pulse of your wrist. So sat nam means truth identified. And this is for like, I would say beginners, people who aren't really used to meditating. I'm a beginner myself for sure. I've only started um, about a month ago. And it really, really helps throughout the day. So basically what you do is you sit up straight. You can even lay down, it doesn't matter. Get in a comfortable position. I like sitting up with my feet on the ground and you just grab your wrist, you close your eyes, and you say satnam, 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 satnam to the pulse of your wrist. And focusing on the pulse of your wrist while saying that, um, you do this for 11 minutes. I find 11 minutes is the perfect amount of time. 
you do this and you find that you don't think about anything at all except for your pulse. And it is perfect for when you're stressed out. You hear all the birds? So cute. Um, it's perfect for when you're stressed out, when you're worried, when you just have these negative emotions that you need to just get back to that place of peace. Um, just do the sat nut meditation with your pulse. I promise it will help. Try it. Set your timer for 11 minutes. Sit back, relax, grab your wrist, feel your pulse, and then say sat nut, sat nut, sat nut, sat nut for 11 minutes with your eyes closed. And you will feel so at peace after that. Trust me, do it for 11 minutes. You will feel unbelievable after that. Number five. When you've overshared, simply say, wait, W-A-I-T, why am I talking? So you ever notice when you're, you find yourself kind of contributing to gossip, contributing to those negative energies, you really need to stay, take a step back in those moments and be like, wait, why am I talking? W-A-I-T, why am I talking? And you will find that you will bring yourself back to that place of just peace and um, present moment, present tense, present, the present. <laughs> you will bring yourself back to the present moment and realize that, why am I talking? Why am I saying these things? Is this really what I believe? Is what I'm saying really what I believe? Is this really what I want to be talking about right now? Is this contributing to society in a positive way? Is this contributing to my life in a positive way? Is it contributing to these other people's lives in a positive way? You really have to step back and look at that. Um, and I have caught myself in the act. I'm, I'm saying just random things that really don't matter and it's not going to contribute to my life positively. Um, I could be complaining about what I don't want instead of what I do want. And in those moments, I, I'm working on it still right now. And I'm practicing and I'm getting better and better. Remember, this is all about practice. You're not going to be good at any of these things right off the bat. Just like exercising, the more you do an exercise, the better you get at it. It's the same thing with meditation. It's the same thing with self-care, bettering your life, being positive in general. It is a practice. Um, and you need to remember that <laughs> and I want you to know that that it's okay if you mess up on these things it's okay if you're not perfect it's okay if you're negative the whole day one day start over again the next day and try your best all you can do is try your best and that is exactly what I'm doing on a daily basis now and I've caught myself in the act of self negative talk and negative talk about others and just things that don't benefit me, will never benefit me or others. And that's when I stop and ask myself, why am I talking? Wait, hold up, stop talking, just stop talking. So um, yeah, that is my uh, fifth step is when you've overshared, simply say, wait. Number six is people who get under your skin are your greatest assignments for birth for personal growth. So how awesome is that? To see it in that positive perspective other than what you would normally see someone as a pain in the ass, someone who is just an asshole, who doesn't contribute to your life in any positive way, only a negative way. A coworker, um, a friend that you feel like you've outgrown, um, a partner, a family member whatever it may be, um, people who get under your skin are your greatest assignment for personal growth. So they're teaching you something. Once again, negative people and negative things do not happen to you or come into your life to, to get back at you for, for a negative reason. They happen for you. They happen to teach you something. And just think about that the next Time something negative happens to you um, and when you realize that a 
good meditation that you can do absolutely anywhere. You can do while working. You don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to do anything. It's just something that will get you back into that positive, peaceful state of mind and to remember that this is the present moment. Stop thinking about the past. Stop thinking about what could happen in the next five, 10, 15, a year, minutes, whatever. Um, just come back to your place. With your fingers, go like this. Peace begins with me. So, your four fingers with your thumb. Peace begins with me. Whenever you're feeling stressed out, worried, or just not at peace at all. Um, and I find I do this during work all the time. I will do it in front of a customer I have who's a nasty customer, um, someone I know who I know is there to test me uh, in life and someone that I find maybe needs to love themselves. Instead of me getting mad and angry and just upset inside like I normally would get, I step back and I go, peace begins with me. And I know that I am the only person that can make myself feel at peace. Um, and why let someone, why let a negative person destroy my inner peace? Um, and if they do destroy my inner peace, to know that that's on me. It has nothing to do with that other person. The reason why that person is being mean to you or negative to you or just has negative energy has nothing to do with you. So don't let it destroy your inner peace. And anytime you find that someone is destroying your inner peace or something is destroying your inner peace, like traffic, anything like that, always do the finger meditation, the quick little finger meditation. Peace begins with me. And you'll begin, and you can do it under the table. You don't have to do it like this. I'm just doing it to show you what I'm doing. Um, but normally I'll just be like, in my head, peace begins with me. And that's it, and then I'm like, all right, I'm good. This person can just be negative and do what they gotta do. I wish them the best, but you're not gonna affect me. So it's another little tip I have is that little finger meditation that I find very helpful. Uh, number seven, center back into stillness to realign with a natural state of peace. Um, and this is a tongue rolling meditation. <laughs> I have a lot of meditations in here. Um, they're not like, very extreme meditations, they're not long ones, they're not ones that you, that I'm talking about really doing before bed. Um, you can, of course, do these at any time, but I'm talking about like during the day. These are the type of things that you can do. So, um, on your lunch break, I guess, is when I would do this one. Center back into stillness to realign with a natural state of peace. So it's kind of what I was talking about before. Um, tongue rolling meditation is just basically rolling your tongue in like circles and that the only the only thing that's for is to get your mind on that only so just focus on your tongue rolling in your mouth and any other bad thought any other things that you were thinking about that probably weren't benefiting you at all unless they're motivating thoughts of course positive thoughts um whenever you just want to center back into that state of stillness and natural peace, just focus on your tongue rolling or your breathing, something like that. It doesn't have to be tongue rolling. That's just what I do because I'm kind of weird. But um, you can just focus on your breath and that's fine too. And it'll just bring you back to, um, it'll just calm your mind, it'll calm your thoughts, and you will focus on that one thing and on be like hey like okay like that wasn't so bad like that made me feel a lot better now that I'm not thinking about those things anymore even if it's for five minutes so just try that one out number eight make slash listen to a positive perception music playlist to get your vibes up and this could be anything I want you to make a music playlist that only has songs that boost your vibe no matter what I don't want any sad songs on there any any angry sounding songs. I want songs that only lift up your vibration. That can be through the beat of the song. That can be through the lyrics. It could be through both. It could be anything you want it to be as long as it is raising your vibration. So 
put a playlist together, play that in the morning, blast it, blast it in your car, blast it in your headphones, in your lunch break, blast it whenever, at the beach. Just do it, just listen to it every single day and it is such a good and easy way to raise your vibration. I always, I never ever drive in my car without my music blasting unless there's someone else in my car. My music is blasting at 6 in the morning, my music is blasting at 3 a.m. Um, and all hours through the day. I'm just, when I get in my car, one of the first things I do is just crank my radio up, put on music that I love. My car is like my music like sanctuary. I absolutely love it. That's why I love driving so much, I think. Um, number nine, when you're feeling helpless, help someone else. This is a great tip and I found it to be so, so helpful. Um, whenever I feel helpless and stuck and just not good about myself and like, I'm, I'm just like questioning everything, that is when I turn and help someone. Um, that could be a person, that could be an animal, um, it could be a business, it could be anything. Instead of focusing on yourself, since all you're having is negative thoughts anyways, focus on someone else. Focus on helping someone else. Helping someone else will help you get good results in return. So you will find that when you do a good thing for others, good things will happen to you. When you help others, other people will help you. It's the law of attraction. It's the universe. It's the way the world works. Whether people believe it or not, that is the case. What comes around goes around and it's completely true. What you think about, you attract. And what you do, you attract. What you do, you are. And you need to just sit back when you're feeling helpless and decide to help everyone else and anyone else in that moment because that is when you will get the help that you need and you will you will find that you will feel so good about yourself for doing something good for others in return you'll feel so 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 good about yourself and it'll just be amazing and perfect and everything you needed so instead of feeling bad for yourself and feeling helpless and all these negative emotions, just help someone else because you'll find that in return you will get so many positive results for yourself as well. Um, the last step, step number 10, is sleep is a spiritual practice. This is a sleep meditation. So this is for people that um, have a hard time sleeping at night or falling asleep or staying asleep. Um, so breathe in like a quarter is between your lips. So like this. And you're just going to breathe in. And then you're going to hold it. And then exhale through your nose. And you're going to do this for one minute. So... You do this for one minute and oh my god I just did it twice and I already feel like <laughs> I could fall asleep sitting right here um, I love being in nature oh my god I love being outside this is like one of the best videos I've ever made <laughs> just being outside but um yeah so whenever you're having trouble falling asleep try out that meditation the sleep meditation I have the quarter between your lips exhale through your nose and then good night <laughs> for one minute that's all you need and that does it for this video, guys. Um, all these steps I have gotten from the book Miracles Now by Gabrielle Bernstein. It's a book that I am currently reading and I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys have never heard of it or never read it, I would highly suggest to buy it and check it out. Um, it is just an amazing book. Um, I really have been into self-help books lately because that is what I'm that is what I'm focusing on right now is myself and um, getting to that state of inner peace all the time and just being the best version of myself that I can be and this book is doing wonders for that it's giving me such good tips and I wanted to pass that on to you guys in this video in case you guys don't have time to read a book even though I think that you can find time to read this book one page a day 
because it's based on each chapter, each step, each lesson being on one page. So you can open up the page, read for two minutes, and then close the book and you learn something for the day. So that's why I really recommend this book. I will show you what it looks like. This is the book right here. It's called Miracles Now by Gabrielle Bernstein and it is so good. So good. Yeah, I am on chapter 19 right now. So I still got a ways to go. It is 108 life-changing tools for less stress, more flow, and finding your true purpose. And this is such a good book. Such a good book. This this is not a sponsored video, nothing. I bought this myself. Um, I'm just sharing something that I found extremely helpful for myself and hopefully you guys will too. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I truly enjoyed filming this video today for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope you guys got some value out of it. Um, that is my number one thing. I want to make videos that will bring value to you rather than just talking about products. That is my new thing. I'm very into value videos. Um, I love watching them and now I decided I want to start making them. Um, so let me know, please, in the comments or by liking it if you liked this video. Um, and please let me know what other videos you would like to see in the future. Um, also give me feedback on this video of what you thought about it. I would love to know. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I am so grateful for you guys. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye also been keeping a planner every single day um, this is the planner that I've had for a while I am going to start using my da -da -da -da, infinite agenda that I got finally got it I'm super super excited to start using this there's no words um, it there's just so much to it um, there's it starts with gratitude you write what you're grateful for so big like it looks it the size of it is just enormous in person um, it doesn't look that big on camera but it's enormous in person um, and you have this whole thing for like two years and there's spots for in the beginning like this month I'm excited to accomplish these short-term goals this month I will grow closer to these long-term goals and in my wildest dreams I'm looking forward to receiving these things so your short term your long term and then your wishes in general um, and you have space for a vision board in here to make like put pictures in and stuff like that and then you have I'm super grateful for, I'm looking forward to on these days, and then you have room to write what you need to do that day. So there is room for literally everything in this journal, and it's so exciting that I finally got my hands on it and bought one. And um, I've been looking for like a good journal for so, so long, and this is just like the perfect one. It has like little quotes at the bottom of the pages and everything, it's just, it's great so I'm really looking forward to using that um, just a little end of the video thing for you guys a little update so thank you guys so much for watching once again I love you guys so so much um, and I will see you in my next video bye guys